Zurinka. Once upon a time there was a very beautiful country called Aramland. King Zerilio and Queen Lulidia reigned there, but the witch Jungalia had sold her heart to the devil in exchange for an enchanted mirror that could see everything that happened around the world, and with this she wanted to reign in the Aram land. Zerilia, who was a wizard himself, cast a spell over the Aram land and made it invisible. People could reach it only in their dreams, and only if they were able to love, that is, if they had a heart. Therefore, Jungalia ran away to Averland, where she sheltered under Prince Gunjar's bed, who immediately went down with an illness. After a period of time, Aramland, which was a rather small country, became too crowded for King Zorillo's children. He loved them equally, both the younger and the elder ones, the whiter and the darker ones, the lazier and the more hard-working ones, but the one he loved the most was Zurika, his eldest daughter. Zurika was tall and slender, with ring-like curly hair, with bright and lively eyes that shone like stars, white pearl-like teeth and lips that were red like true love. One morning Zerilio gathered all his children and told them, Chebari more, chave muri, my princes and princesses, Aram country is no longer big enough for you. Go out into the wide world as your heart's desire and fulfill your destinies. Spread into the world and be of good use to the people. Fill the world with your gifts. Be kind-hearted, joyful, love and enjoy life. And should you encounter any difficulties or remain unsheltered, sleep on the bare earth, dream, and we shall meet again. But beware, once you have returned to the Aramland, you cannot go out of it, unless carried away over the rainbow by true love. And this is how Zerilio and Lydia's children spread around the world. Those who loved silver went under the leadership of Rupi, and those who loved gold went under the leadership of Sumnakal, and they became silversmiths and goldsmiths. Others who loved the fire and its bright, lively colors joined Karos the coppersmith and fed the world from their cast-iron kettles. Those who love freedom, cool forests, and endless plains chose Grastinel as their leader, and they became horse copers and carters, while those who only knew how to live life to the full and enjoy it started to wander the cities and settle around their outskirts and entertain people with their dancing and singing. Zurika, King Zorillo's most beloved daughter, followed this latter group. Meanwhile, in the Avarland, Prince Gunjar was quickly dying out because Jungalia, who was still hiding under his bed, tortured him night after night. She would go into his dreams and would whip and scratch him in an attempt to make him find his way to the Aramland. But she didn't succeed because the prince had never met real love. When Zorillo's sons and daughters arrived there with Zurika, they settled at the border of the city, put up their tents, built the fire, and started partying. Gunjar could hear the music of the Aram tribe from his window, and he realized that his heart started beating faster, and that an unusual desire gradually was taking hold of him. So the prince wrapped himself into his darkest mantle and got out of the city. He hid behind the trees, and trying to have a better view of the party, he fell over some stinging nettles and let out a loud scream. The musicians surrounded him instantly, their knives out. 
don't kill him, Zurika cried out loud. I want to see his face. What were you doing here? she asked him sharply. I was trying to dance to your music, admitted the prince, embarrassed at being caught like a common thief. Really? Zurika laughed. Then go ahead, dance. We want to see you. And you, she said, turning in the musician's direction, go on singing. made some dance steps, but Zurika approached him and said, Not this way. Keep your back straight. Look, like this. He started dancing again while looking at her, and Zurika in turn could not take her eyes away from the prince. They partied until dawn, but right before sunrise a powerful wind started blowing. That was Jungalia, who had become acquainted with the fact that the prince was not in his bed. The musicians fled, and Zurika took Gunjar's hand and ran into the forest, towards a clearing where Grastanel's horses were grazing, and mounted Balval, the fastest of the horses. Followed by Jungalia, they arrived at Keros's place, who offered them a copper kettle. They threw it behind them, and a black water river appeared. But the witch swam after them, clenching the mirror strongly in her arms. Then they reached Rupi's place, and he gave them a silver comb. When they threw the comb behind them, a forest of sky-tall thorns appeared. But Jungalia crossed it, tearing her flesh and becoming a skeleton with a mirror in her arms. Left with no place to run to, Zurika and Gunjar fell asleep in the tall grass and went to Aramland as Gunjar and Zurika had found true love. Meanwhile, Jungalia could see everything that was happening in her enchanted mirror, so she entered the prince's dream and showed herself to Zorillo in the shape of a devil with burning eyes. Then she threw herself at Zorillo, and a terrible fight followed. Jungalia burned everything that came into her sight, but Zorillo made a sign and it started to rain. Jungalia brought fog over Aramland, but Zorillo came riding the moon and dispersed the fog. Then Jungalia turned herself into King Zorillo, and nobody could tell which one was the real king. However, in order to do so, she had to let go of the enchanted mirror for a few moments, which gave the true Zorillo the opportunity to take it, to lock Jungalia inside it, and to throw her inside a rainbow. So, even today, when there is rain or fog, we can see Jungalia struggling to get out, but she cannot hurt anybody any more, since she is powerless. Zurika and Gunjar went happily back to People's Land, walking on the rainbow, because they were led by true love. 
As to Aramland, you can hear from time to time about what a wonderful land it is, with high mountains and deep waters covered in a bright rainbow and reigned over by a great wizard king and a very beautiful queen, Zorillo and his love, Lulidia.